Nina by Nina Ricci is a huge favorite with teenage girls and that is fine by me. I think this is a really great fragrance. It makes me smile whenever I smell it. It's just really easy. It's really accessible. It's a light, crisp, fruity floral. I guess that's how you classify it. It kicks off with a little bit of apple, a little bit of lime, and it's just fresh and easy. There's a little bit of uh, vanilla woven in there. And um, it's sweet, but it's not like a giant pie of sugar that you are forced to wear on your head. It doesn't twist your brain into a pretzel trying to understand it. It just, it's just kind of easy going. It's great. Uh, as it moves along, it starts to develop, it, it loses the fruit thing and it starts to develop a, a cottony smell. Uh, just kind of a sweet cotton smell and oftentimes when I encounter uh, that laundry, the so-called fresh laundry smell in perfumes, I, I find it really just heavy and cloying and leaden and headachey and horrible but in Nina Ricci it doesn't do any of that. It, this cottony musk actually does smell like uh, fresh cotton, you know, it is as advertised. Uh, it lasts for a pretty long time. You know, it's not going to be a lead blanket of a fragrance. It's meant to be light and sweet and easy. I, I think it's a great daytime fragrance and great for wearing to school. Um, it's not going to be creeping out people in your immediate vicinity. And even though Nina is kind of pitched as a fruity floral, I would really say that it's more, a more accurate description would be sweet laundry. I like it. I'm Katie Puckrick and I smell.